guys so in this video if you stick with me to the very end you're going to learn the nine best ways to promote Clickbank products and make money online with Clickbank even if you have zero to no budget or if you do have a large marketing budget this video is for everybody and if you stick with me to the very end I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you the best way to promote Clickbank products online so let's get right into it the first thing that you guys are gonna go ahead and do is I skipped the process as far as creating a Clickbank account that's pretty self-explanatory all you're gonna do is go to clickbank.com create an account once you create an account you're gonna go to the affiliate marketplace then you're gonna go ahead and actually go to the categories on the left hand side here and I'll recommend choosing a product within the health wealth and romance niche now the easiest way to find the top products is simply by clicking this magnifying glass and scrolling down so this is in the health niche Leptitox, Cinderella Solution, Haikiki Diabetes so the number one niche in affiliate marketing is health and fitness because a lot of people want to go ahead and improve their body next is His Secrets right which is a romance product so people, women who are trying to find love and then we also have things along the lines of Overnight Millionaire who basically are going to go ahead and teach you how to shift your mindset and make more money for this example what I'm going to do if you guys ever want to go and actually see what the marketing material looks like on these Clickbank products you simply just click this link at the the top here this red link at the top of any offer you're gonna go ahead and actually get access to the sales video and this sales video is going to be responsible for doing all of the selling meaning all you have to focus on is driving website visitors to this page that you didn't have to create you don't have to deal with the customer service you don't have to deal with product fulfillment you don't have to have physical cost of goods that you have to factor into your marketing expenses because these are digital products so all you have to figure out how to do is figure out how to get website visitors to this page that's why affiliate marketing I believe is the best online business model for beginners online that's way to make money online for beginners so with that being said if you guys notice I said one thing the most important thing that you guys have to focus on is learning how to become a master at driving traffic so what I decided to do is we're going to cover just that so once we actually get our link right what we're gonna do is simply press the promote button it's gonna go ahead and open up this page we're gonna put our account nickname and then once we get our account nickname we're gonna go ahead and generate a hop link and then we're gonna go ahead and get this long ugly link what I would recommend is going to something along the lines of like bitly.com B, that's B-I-T-L-Y.com. Take a second to write that down. And you'll be able to paste these long, ugly links and make them much shorter and more attractive and more aesthetically appealing when it comes to your marketing, right? And this is less trustworthy of a link. If you have a link that says bitly.com slash lefty talks, it'll be more uh, attractive or appealing to somebody who actually clicks on it. So it'll increase your conversions. This is the page that we're going to be actually promoting. So we need to figure out how to get website traffic to this page. Now at the end of the day, you're probably gonna go ahead and go on YouTube or go on Google and you're gonna go ahead and find people telling you guys different ways to actually promote these products that do not work. Right? They're gonna tell you stupid stuff of how to get rich quick with no work or so on and so forth. Just get that out of your head. If you guys want to actually really make money with Clickbank, you have to go ahead and throw that mindset out of the window and understand that's gonna take real work, it's gonna take real persistence, but this is a long-term business model that's gonna go to the light to transition from working a job that you hate to living life on your own terms being your own boss and basically doing what you want when you want right so if that sounds like the life that you want keep on watching if you're the type of person who wants to make money with no work click away from this video and stick to your nine to five because entrepreneurship isn't for you so let's get right into the video basically the nine different ways to make money online for click make beginners we're gonna be covering three main subjects but then nine different methods within those three subjects so the first subject that we're gonna be talking about is basically SEO now what SEO means is basically search engine optimization and it is the process of increasing the quality and quantity of website traffic by increasing the visibility of website or a web page to users of a web search engine so to make that long definition much simpler it's simply a free search traffic meaning if you guys are ever going on Google YouTube Bing and you guys are searching to solve a problem right you're gonna come across one of these blog articles and they're gonna go ahead and actually teach you how to solve it and then they're probably gonna be recommending a product so the way that you guys market with these different offers, the, the type of keyword that I would be trying to rank for with my blog articles or just any of my SEO content is going to be congruent with the product that I'm offering. So it doesn't matter what your product is. Let's just say I was doing a weight loss product. I might use the keyword how to lose weight. Let's just say it's a romance product. I might uh, type in the word like how to flirt or how to find love or how to find your dream guy or whatever that looks like, right? 
And then what's gonna happen is people who are searching those terms are gonna go to find my content. And then, right, so this is the first step, right? We have Bing, which is not as good as Google and YouTube because they definitely dominate when it comes to search engine. But if you publish content, it'll go ahead and actually publish on all three of these platforms. So it'll publish on Bing, it'll publish on Google, and it'll publish on YouTube. Now the thing about, if we were to go ahead and actually talk about which one is the best, right, I would definitely recommend starting with creating a YouTube channel, right? So if you notice how to make money online, there's these uh, videos that have came up right now. But the reason why this is so like lucrative is because Google owns YouTube, they're gonna go ahead and actually put YouTube videos as priority, so you have the chance of actually ranking on YouTube and ranking on Google. So if you notice, these are YouTube videos right here, right? If I was to go ahead and click any of these, any of these, right? So if you notice here, let's take a look here. Go on YouTube, so one, two, so these two right here by Kevin David and Wholesale Ted have also been ranked on Google, right? So the same keyword, Basically, they're getting double the traffic. So this video literally has 1 million views and it's getting traffic from two different traffic sources. And the way that this person is gonna go and actually monetize this traffic is teaching some sort of value-based content in the video. And then at the end of the video, having a call to action to saying, hey, you wanna make money online. If you wanna go ahead and make money online, the method I taught you was great, but check this out. And then they're gonna be driving their traffic to their affiliate link, which is basically gonna be, I'm gonna be sending those website visitors from that free marketing material that I created to this video. So all you gotta do is create really good content, right? Because it's not gonna rank if it's not good content. If people aren't watching it and or watching to the end, if it's trash content, then it's not gonna go to rank. So the easiest way to rank content is making sure you use the keywords and making sure you have high click through rate images for your thumbnails and making sure that you're publishing high quality content. Now the same thing when it comes to your blogging, right? So Bing or Google, um, one way that you can do SEO is blog posts. So it's in written format. If you're not the type of person who likes to make videos, what you're gonna do is create these blog posts with these keywords and then basically if you scroll past the ads here, you're gonna go ahead and be able to find, for example, 35 real ways to actually make money online. That's in Bing. And then we also have like seven realistic ways to make money online, 12 ways you can absolutely make money online. So you can see that the content that is getting the best results is different methods, right? So 35 different ways to make money online, seven real ways to make money online. If you guys notice in this video, right, I'm talking about nine different ways to make money on ClickBank, right? So the keyword that I'm trying to rank for in this content is basically make money on ClickBank and then also ClickBank for beginners. So those are two different and ways to make money on ClickBank. So that's like three different uh, or even different ways to make money on ClickBank. So like four different keywords that I can be ranking for. If people type in those four keywords, they might stumble across my content. And if this is valuable and people like this content, people are gonna watch it till the end and then the search engines are gonna go to notice that and they want watch time because they want people to stay on their platform so they're gonna go and actually promote my content for free and then I'm gonna be able to redirect my visitors to my offer. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Now, those are the first three. The second three are going to be within PPC marketing. So what is PPC marketing? It's basically paid per click and it's an internet advertising model used to drive traffic to websites in which an advertiser pays a publisher when the ad is clicked. So the easiest way, for example, if I was to go to Google Ads and YouTube Ads, right? So the reason why I said Google and YouTube Ads is because you're gonna go ahead to ads.google.com and believe it or not, for those who are like, well, I don't know how to do this, guys. This platform is literally gonna go and give you a free course that'll teach you how to do Google Ads. So there's no reason, right? All these people searching on YouTube or learning how to do Google Ads and so on and so forth. The platform wants you to use their platform. So they're literally gonna go and give you a free course teaching you how to run ads, right? From experts who are doing real, real volume and really know what they're doing. So if you wanna learn how to do Google Ads, Literally just go to ads.google.com and then once you sign in and create an account, they're gonna go ahead and give you a tutorial teaching you guys how to use the platform. So the same thing with YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google. So if you guys look here, this ad by Airbnb is a cost per click. So if I click, they're gonna get charged for that click. Same thing on Google. If I go back to Google, these ads right here that say at the top here that are trying to um, or are paying to get their ads displayed for how to make money online, this ad right here, if I click this ad, they're gonna go ahead and get charged for a click. That's why it's called paid per click marketing. They're paying for each individual click. Last but not least, one is native ads. So native ads is basically a platform like outbrain.com. There's different platforms. So for example, what native ads are guys, is if you guys look over here, if you guys ever go on a blog post and you guys see these images, these random images with these headlines, and then it's kind of like clicking to a blog, that's basically a native ad. So what you're doing is you're gonna find different blog posts for different media outlets, AKA blog posts, and you're gonna go and find ones that are related to your niche, and then you're gonna go ahead and actually display your ad, and all you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a high click rate images and a high click rate headline that is congruent with the people who are following or visiting that website, you want it to be congruent with the product that you're offering. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna redirect that attention and turn it into website visitors and send it to your affiliate sales page. And the sales page will literally do all the selling. So again, all you have to do is focus on driving the traffic. Now last but not least is basically solo ads, which is basically people who have large email lists Right, so people have maybe like 100,000 email subscribers and they do what is called an email broadcast and you can use a platform called Udemy.com. There's multiple platforms, but by far the best platform is called Udemy.com. And what you can do is you can go ahead and find these people who have big followings, usually within the health and wellness niche or the make money online niche. And you can go ahead and buy clicks, but instead of you kind of getting your ad click and then charging, they're gonna go ahead and give you a predefined price point to actually charge. So you know, instead of kind of like looking at your ad and seeing how much you're getting charged per click, you can literally go to Udemy and say, I only wanna pay 50 cents per click. You can find a seller who's willing to sell clicks for as cheap as $50, and you can drive that traffic to your affiliate offers. So with that being said, pay per click marketing, you're literally paying for each time somebody clicks and Google ads, YouTube ads, native ads, you're paying when people actually click it. Solo ads, you have a predefined amount that you're willing to actually pay before you actually start running the ad. And then last but not least, one of my favorites is social media marketing. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Social media marketing is the use of social media platforms and websites to promote a product or service. So Facebook and Instagram ads, if you guys have ever been on Facebook, you guys see those sponsored posts, or if you guys have been on Instagram, they are owned by the same company, which is Facebook. So Facebook has acquired Instagram, they own both platforms. So if you wanna advertise on either or, you're gonna go to business.facebook.com and the cool thing about them is that you have over two billion daily active users and the amount of data that Facebook sh shares with their advertisers is kind of scary. If you've ever been on Facebook or Instagram and felt like you said something out loud in a conversation with your friends and then shortly after we're, we're targeted with an ad, that's how scary the data is. But imagine being on the opposite side and not being a consumer, but being an actual advertiser, right? And actually leveraging that platform and that data to drive website visitors to your affiliate products. Very powerful. So that's one of the most powerful one out of all nine of these. And then we have Snapchat ads. One of the benefits of Snapchat ads is that basically, first and foremost, let me show you guys where to get Snapchat ads for business.snapchat.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some pluses and some negatives. Some of the pluses with Snapchat is that because they're trying to compete with the freaking Titan Facebook and Instagram, they're willing to sell you clicks for cheaper. So the advertisement on Snapchat is, is cheaper. And there is less competition because the entry point is $50 per ad set. What that means is you have to spend a minimum of $50 per day to advertise on Snapchat. So that's the benefits. I mean, for some it's like, oh, that's not a benefit because I don't have $50 a day. But the benefit is that you're not competing with as many people. One of the negatives is that they don't have as much uh, advertising data and targeting capabilities as Facebook ads. So you want to kind of like weigh the options and see which route you want to go. And the last but not least is LinkedIn. So if you want to promote ads or, or use LinkedIn, you simply go to business.linkedin.com. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to leverage LinkedIn. Now, I would not promote overnight millionaire on LinkedIn. You wanna go ahead and find offers that are more so geared to business because the target audience of people that you're gonna find on link, LinkedIn are people who are interested in starting a business or interested in business or interested in like corporate, so on and so forth. You guys get the point, right? You guys, if you guys do research on LinkedIn, you guys will understand. So with that being said, nine different ways to make money on ClickBank for beginners. This is the most important thing, guys, is learning how to drive traffic, which is Bing, Google, YouTube for search engine optimization, and then there's PPC marketing, so you're paying per click, which is Google ads, YouTube ads, native ads, solo ads, and then there's social media marketing, which you're leveraging social media for Facebook and Instagram, which is the Titan, Snapchat, and and LinkedIn. Now, with that being said, I need you to continue to watch this video because what I'm about to tell you is probably the most important part of the whole entire video. If you don't watch anything, the most important thing that you wanna go and watch is right now. So basically, there's two ways that you can go and actually drive this website traffic to your affiliate links, right? There's the beginner way and the expert way. So the beginner way is barely gonna go ahead and get you results and also may might get your ads account shut down. So the beginner way is basically getting access to your link, right? So getting access to your link, once you get access to your link, you're simply gonna go ahead and create like a bit.ly link and then you're gonna go ahead and try to buy traffic from one of these nine platforms or even do free marketing strategies and then you're gonna go ahead and send them directly to your affiliate offer. Now guys, that's all fine and dandy but the big problem with that is number one, social media marketing platforms or even pay-per-click marketing platforms do not like what is called direct linking. So that means when you're sending ads directly to an affiliate offer, right? Directly to an affiliate link. Second problem with that is that you only have one chance to sell this product. So what does that mean? If I only have one chance to sell this product, that means that it's like me trying to hit a home run and only having one chance to swing the bat. Now that's what beginners are doing. The expert way is basically driving traffic. Instead of driving them directly to an offer, you're gonna be driving them to what is called an opt-in page. 
which is basically gonna go ahead and have similar words that is found on this actual page right here. So it have kind of similar words of overnight millionaire mind hacks secretly used by the rich and famous, but you'll kind of create it as a curiosity question so people want to go and actually put their information, right? So they're going to go and actually send traffic to this page. They're going to put their information into this page, meaning their email and their name. And then they're going to go ahead and opt into your email list. Now, what is that going to go ahead and allow me to do? First and foremost, as soon as they put their email in, they're still going to go ahead and get to my offer. So I'm still going to be selling them, right, my product. But the second thing is you're probably wondering, well, what about the people who go to the opt-in page but don't go to the offer? Chances are if they go to the opt-in page and they read the words on that page and they don't, don't go to the offer, they weren't a buyer anyways, right? So we filtered out the, buy the buyers from the people who are buyers. But just because they're a buyer, that means they are interested in what you're selling, but they may not want to actually buy right now. So with that being said, if I go ahead and collect their information, instead of having one chance to sell them, I'm going to be able to build an email list and automatically follow up with them for the next couple of days, weeks, months, redirecting them to the same affiliate offer because guys, it takes anywhere from eight to 10 times for somebody to see an offer before they actually make a purchase. So if you only have one chance to sell these people, you're literally gonna lose out on so much money. If you do go ahead and actually have multiple chances, let's just say a thousand chances instead of one, What's the likeliness of you actually turning this lead or this prospective buyer into an actual customer? A lot higher. You're gonna go ahead and have 10% more of a chance to actually make money, right? So with that being said, what you wanna do is you wanna go to learn how to actually do the expert way. Now you have two options. The first option is to go on YouTube, go on uh, Google and kind of just try to figure it out, trying to figure out how to build these web pages, try to figure out what type of words to actually put on them, figure out how to go ahead and actually connect them, figure out how to go ahead and actually integrate it so you get the emails so that way your emails actually get sent to these people, how to actually be able to turn those emails and get them to know like and trust you and get them to actually buy your products by putting all the puzzle pieces together where that's the first route that I went and I lost so much money and I lost so much time trying to go that route. Or the second route, basically I'm offering a discount on my course. Wolves